So with me now to break this down from the Heritage Foundation, Hans von Spakovsky. Hans, good to see you. Good. Thanks for having me. All right, Hans, you were one of the ones who said from the very beginning that this law wouldn't work. You said it posed a vulnerability to fraud, and you said in practicality the California state officials are going to botch this up. This audit proves you correct. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. I mean, look, California, frankly, has been a basket case for years. I, I was at the Justice Department in the early 2000s, and even back then, they didn't have any kind of system in place that could uh, guarantee that they would have an accurate an up-to-date voter registration system. They, what they've put in now with automatic uh, voter registration has just made the problem worse. I mean, 84,000 duplicate registra uh, registrations, right. that's a lot. That's the vulnerability. And I, I'm not sitting here saying that all of those people voted twice. I'm sure most of them didn't. But even if 100 of them did, even if, you know, 50 of them did, there are elections that are decided by just the breadth of a hair that are very, very narrow margins. That's a lot of vulnerability. No, no, it is. And, and we should not forget, uh, look, Two decades ago, we had a very important Senate race, uh, if, I mean, sorry, U.S. congressional race, decided by less than 1,000 votes. And in that race, it was shown two decades ago that non-citizens were, were registering and voting. And they've done nothing since then to, to prevent that, in fact, with automatic voter registration and the fact that California provides driver's licenses to illegal aliens, that problem's just gotten worse. Well, last October, we talked about this last October, you and I did, as a matter right. of fact, on this show, 1,500 uh, non-citizens were mistakenly, and I put that in quotation marks, were mistakenly registered to vote in California, even though they're ineligible as non-citizens. They were registered to vote because of this voter, or this motor voter law. And in fact, this was uh, revealed by a Canadian citizen who is married right. to an American who lives in the state of California and received his voter registration confirmation in the mail. So he contacted the California Secretary of State and said, listen, dude, I'm not an American citizen. You mistakenly registered me. I don't think that he's probably the typical non-citizen who's mistakenly registered to vote who is going to tell on the California state government himself. Right. The, the key to that story is the fact that it wasn't the Secretary of State's office who discovered that. It was him voluntarily contacting them to let them know about it. How many more, how many thousands of more non-citizens have been registered without election officials knowing about it? Right. Well, we wouldn't know because part of this audit says that the California state government isn't too sure who's actually in charge of all this, who's the one right. bearing responsibility, and yet Governor Newsom's administration and other Democratic officials in this state are claiming that this audit does not, it does not reflect negatively on this law. They say it shows some things we need to improve, <laughs> but overall it's been a success. What is their goal if this is a success? Well, their goal is to register everyone uh, in California, dis even if they're not eligible to vote. And they've, they've made that very clear. They've got uh, nothing in place that's going to prevent people who are ineligible from voting unless those individuals take it upon themselves to contact officials to let them know about it. Yeah, and I, I, I wouldn't even blame non-citizens uh, who are mistakenly registered for voting for not reporting themselves if it wasn't a crime, if it was truly an error. Because who wants to go to the DMV? Who wants to deal with government officials when you absolutely don't have to? Hans, you mentioned one phrase. You said there are no protections in place to prevent this. What can we do right. in the state of California? What should we do in the state of California to, yes, make it as easy as possible for eligible voters to register for, to vote while protecting against the voter, uh, vulnerability of voter fraud? Well, look, when, when the DMV, for example, uh, is issuing driver's licenses, um, they are the ones that have the ability to ask for documents that are going to show whether or not someone is a citizen. And so they are the ones that can prevent this from happening. They are not doing that. But furthermore, um, they, in fact, the state of California, as you know, has said that they don't want any of this information being sent to, for example, 
federal officials because they don't want federal officials to know when non-citizens are getting driver's licenses. And that shows the attitude there and the fact that they're not doing anything from a procedural standpoint that's going to prevent non-citizens, for example, from registering to vote. Right. Because perhaps ultimately the left wants non-citizens to be registered to vote. Right. That's certainly what their actions, if we're, if we're looking at their actions and not listening to their words, their actions seem to demonstrate that they want non-citizens registered to vote. Hans, I appreciate the analysis. Thanks for coming on the show.